Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to our channel. I'm Joyce and I'm Jesse. And we're back with another video. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Y'all see our beautiful tree in the background? I decorated it, I picked it out. So, Man. you know. You know they say happy wife, happy life, Abby? Yeah. So, she picked it out, yeah. She did good. <laughs> so I can rest. And there will be no <laughs> peace in this house. <laughs> but now there is peace because she chose the tree. Peace by and she decorated it. <laughs> so, peace be unto this house. <laughs> So, um, if you're just joining us for the first time, you're welcome. welcome. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you like what we're about, you know. Mm -hmm. And what's, uh, what's that? Yeah, that's just a swag, you know, it makes it interesting, you know. So. Well, let me say it. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that little bell notification. for the... <laughs> uh -huh. See? That's why I should have said it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. But they get the gist, you know. Like, subscribe, share. Pretty much, that's what we're trying to say. No, it was like this video, subscribe to our channel, hit that little bell notification button. Bing. So that you can be notified whenever we post. We post. <laughs> it took a long time to say, Jesus. But today, I'll be um, talking about some words, some Nigerian words that um, were texting us. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be talking about some Nigerian words I no longer say or use say in America. You see these words, right? Sometimes uh, when I first came out here, because I'm used to saying these words, I'll go to the store or say to someone in America, they'll be like, huh? Huh? You say what? <laughs> I'll be like, uh, ma -ma 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 what's it in America, you know? And then they'll be like, you mean this? I'll be like, yes, that. And so, you know, I got to learn along the way. Let's go. The first one is um, this. What do you call this here? Napkin. Hmm. So what she calls a napkin? In Nigeria, we call this Soviet. Soviet. Yes, Soviet. Wow. So that's too long. That's a napkin. If you say napkin in Nigeria, to a large extent, you get um, this. I was ready for you. That's a washcloth. Yeah, you call it washcloth. Yeah, but if you say napkin, like usually some people when they um like the one that go on the suit jacket. No, not that. Oh. Like um, you say like the one you have in the kitchen right there, right? Mm-hmm. Like when people finish eating their ebal fufu with their hands and they wash their hands, you know, they use a napkin. Right, that's what this is. When you finish, you wash yeah. napkin. Yeah, this one don't do the job. But like most times people have this, you know, mm -hmm. like a cloth-like thing, you know, a napkin, and they used to wipe their hands. So we call it napkin, we call this napkin. This serviette is pretty much most people to clean their mouth and that's all, I guess. So. But we call it napkin. Mm, Soviet. Next one. Let's see. So if you go to the bank or where you go to the store, you know, and you say long, um, you know, people. A long people. You long. I don't want to say the word. You know, back to back. What do you call that here? You see people standing back to back. Like that. A line? Yep. Yeah. We call it a queue. Ah, mm -hmm. See, we only call it queue if we're like uh, chatting online. Like when I have to chat with Amazon, you'd be like, oh, I'm in the queue, which means basically a line. But in person, you always say line. Yeah, see, in, in Nigeria, we say queue, man. Say queue here <laughs> while you're in the line. <laughs> say, please, where is the queue? It'll be like, Letter Q? <laughs> uh -uh. You have to let That's go some of this word, man. I have to use that Q. 
Then you have to explain yourself every time, man. This is another good one. What do you call um, a drink like um, Fanta and Coke? Oh. Well, it depends. So, where we from, mm. which is like a northern state, we call it pop. Uh, when I lived down south, they called it soda or cold drink or soft drink. It just depends where you go. But basically... Oh, a soft drink? Yeah, soft drink, uh, mm. cold drink, soda, pop. Okay, I, one of it, we call it, we call it soft drink as well. But mostly we call it minerals. Minerals? Like water? <laughs> like mineral resources or something like that. <laughs> If you go somewhere, you go to the store, you'll be like, oh, I want to buy minerals. Or yeah, even at the party, though, if you're at the party, they'll be like, oh, what do you want to drink? Do you want minerals? They'll be like, oh, give me minerals. Then they'll be like, oh, what kind of minerals? Be like, oh, give me um, Fanta or Coke or Sprite, you know. Oh, man. I'm sure if I go back to Nigeria and I'll probably go say, can I have soda? They'll be like, ah, soda, I don't, I don't have soda. Madam, I have soda there. Yeah. See all those things there, they're called soda. <laughs> be like, ah, you mean Pepsi? Yeah, ah. My brother, man, come on, man. You have come back to Niger, be Niger now. I'm also one of Don't try to keep moving it. Because <laughs> I'm trying to look. <laughs> I don't want to look at you. So, another one is um, um, when you go to the petrol station, what do you buy there? The who? Petrol station. Petrol station. Petrol. Petrol, what's that? You go to the petrol station. You don't have a petrol station here. The police station? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is that? Police. The police station. Petrol. Petrol. It's still police station. P E T R O L. Petrol. Petrol. No, what's that? So in Nigeria, if you say you're going to the petrol station, people already know. Yeah, oh, you but you're here in America, so. You're going to the gas station. You should have just said that. But we don't call it gas. You see, if, if you say gas in Nigeria, right, they are refer you you are referring to a gas tank, you know. Because you know people cook with gas as well. Over there, right? So if you go to the filling station and you say you want to buy gas, then they are thinking, okay, you want to buy gas to cook. I said so they'll send you the way uh of the gas tank to buy cooking gas another way we call gas is fuel fuel well, some some parts of the u.s they say fuel but most part is gas station or they call it a uh, filling station so my grandma say filling station oh yeah we call it filling station too yeah oh. we call it filling station too oh, yeah. but most times people say yeah i think equally Filling station and gas and petrol station, we say that equally there. I've only seen older people say filling station. Why did you say Philip? Yeah, filling station. Filling <laughs> station. Filling, not Philip station. Philips. Philip uh, station. Look at you. Look at you! Another thing I noticed here in America, this is not even a word, but um, it's something that I notice with Americans, right? Like when I say thank you to people in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> like, she already knows because I told her already. I said thank you to people in Nigeria. They say, oh, you're welcome, you know. Here in America, <laughs> you, have, you have different classes of response or responses. You say thank you to some people, they'll say, oh, you're welcome. You tell some people, um, thank you. They say, no problem. <laughs> Which is, you know, it's kind of the same thing as no wala. If someone tells me thank you and I say, oh, no wala, you know, no problem. Yeah, it's acceptable, you know. But there is this, there are this <laughs> set of people, they sound very rude, but to them, they are not rude, you know, it's just normal, I mean, if you say thank you, they say, uh -huh. <laughs> I said it to someone one day, the first time I heard it, right, I said thank you, the person said, uh huh, I thought the person was like, uh, -huh. like, you know, she didn't know what I said, and I said thank you, she said, uh huh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, okay, then, you know, I figured out so that's what she was trying to say, you know. And then I realized, you know, in the course of time that some people just respond that way. You say thank you, they say, uh-huh, thank you, uh-huh. I'm trying to even get you to that, to tell me thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. I don't think I will. It, no, it's, I don't like when you say it. 
Like, <laughs> no, I'd be like, wait, huh? You just say you welcome. Well, when you, I'd be like, thank you. You say it, you're and welcome. I'd be like, you can say you welcome. Yeah, but you know, when you say you're welcome, you feel like the person really appreciates what you've done. I and mean, the person says, oh, no problem. Same thing, but just uh huh. It's like I just did it to help you. <laughs> I did it to help you. Yeah. Don't come back home because I'm not <laughs> you. Another one. This is also not a word, but it's just like a thing, a Nigerian thing that you automatically think that someone you should respond to, right? If you're trying to call someone that's probably far from you, you make that sound. That oh, very <laughs> <laughs> <Are you> try. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if if you do that in Nigeria, you want to get someone's attention, you make that sound. You're not calling no name in particular, right? But a lot of people are going to turn towards you like, okay, is it me you're calling? Are you calling me? You know? But here in America, I tried to do it. It was like, nobody looked back. <laughs> like, nobody. So now it's like our own code thing here, you know, like, if we're in the midst of a lot of people and I make that sound, you know, she already knows what it is. But if there's any other Nigerian there, of course, they get. I did that at work one day. I was trying to get the attention of one guy who was far away and I was like <laughs> This old man next to me was like, huh? Are you blowing them kisses? And I'm like, oh, no! <laughs> I'm calling his attention, man. What do you think, man? Don't take me for something else, man. I mean, there are a lot of things that that's different here, you know, but uh, that's what makes different cultures, different places unique. Yeah, one thing is, what about when, so I watch a lot of Nigerian movies, of course, mm -hmm. and every time somebody go over somebody's house, they eat. It's like they have to eat. Um, is there some different, or do, do, do you experience that in Nigeria in real life? Like when you go to somebody's house, like you have to eat. But then when you come here in America, they don't feed you. Like you come, you come, and that's it. You know, you might have full, but not that. Probably won't. Well, the thing is, you know, in, in Nigeria, we're very, um, we're welcoming. You know, hospitable. Yeah, we're welcoming. We're hospitable. We are, um, we are homely. We're accommodating. You know, so if I know someone is coming to visit me, I mean, I don't mind preparing something. You know, or having food at home. I'm like, oh, what you gonna eat? Even if I don't have food at home, right? I can go buy you food, you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, what do you want to eat? So I can go get you X, Y, Z, you know, whatever you want, you know. And if the person declines, then you'll be like, okay, or oh, what do you want to drink? So it's just out of courtesy, you know, you don't mm -hmm. have to do that. So if you know any other word that, um, you know, I can't remember right now, please leave it in the comment section, you know. So we can all get to see other words that Nigerians use that isn't um, understandable here in America. Mm. Or anywhere else in the world. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Anywhere, anywhere else in the world, you know. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. So thank you for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post, post it. And that's a... Rawr! <laughs> <laughs>